an effort to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Yeah, after a stay-at-home standoff between the city of Tampa and Hillsborough County, the two are now looking to issue a safer at-home order and a curfew beginning tomorrow. Eight on your side's Deanne Roberts is live in Tampa with a breakdown of what all of this means for us. Good morning, Deanne. Good morning to you both. So if leaders move forward with this order, it means basically you need to stay home. You need to work from home. And if you can't do either one of those, you need to be practicing social distancing. This is up for vote later today, but it will require you to stay home unless you are working for an essential business. There are 16 essential businesses deemed by the Department of Homeland Security like medical professionals. If you are a non-essential business, that means you got to work from home. If that's not possible, there has to be less than 10 people in the workplace and you have to be six feet away from one another. There will also be a curfew put in place that will be from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Monday through Friday in the entire weekend. You should be willingly cooperating with these orders for everyone's safety. We really need to encourage and keep people focused on maintaining safe distances, but yet the curfews allow people to take care of necessities, get food, get medicine. So that doesn't mean you need to actually lock yourself in your home, but this is being enforced. Those business owners out there, if you do not follow these rules, you could potentially get fined. Now, as far as that curfew, if police happen to see you out during that time, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get arrested. However, they can tell you to go home. But of course, this is all about practicing personal responsibility. Avery, we want to do everything we possibly can to make sure we're stopping the spread of this virus. I also want to remind people after that vote, if it passes, it will take effect at 10 p.m. on Friday. All right, good reminder. Thanks for all that information, Deanne.